I know, I know. Y'all gonna be like, this man is on the wall. <clears throat> Yeah, Paul, I. The spins on the wall. He shot me videos every day. I am two weeks behind on videos. <clears throat> My voice is coming back here and now, as you can see. But we'll be checking out um its animated new video top ten clowns of evolve all clowns. What's the title for? Yeah, whole, top ten whole clowns they evolve of whole clowns. So. <clears throat> Since we might be back for Spooky Skill Sunday this Saturday, maybe <clears throat> if the voice is back, let's go ahead and get into this clowns because I fucking hate clowns, except for the joke. Oh, clowns are often scary, but no, which on screen buffoons have us avoiding the circus? Let's send in the top 10 clowns. Animated. Twisting 10th place is American Horror Stories Twisty. He wears a white outfit with red accents, matching makeup, round nose, and pointy hat. After he's wrongfully ousted by his circus, his outfit loses his cleanliness. He fashions a brand new hairstyle, and to cover up a disfigurement, he wears a perma smile mask. He captures kids to entertain them, but a summoned uh, ghoul takes Twisty's okay. life to join his <clears throat> ghostly side. Booking in ninth is Hell House LLC's Clown Mannequin. He has a split polka dot and striped jumper, oversized shoes, and a ghastly mask with blood dripped eyes. He's often backed up by supporting clown mannequins, but when the lead clown makes any sudden movement, something always goes down. Praying for eighth is Blood Harvest's Marvelous Mervo. After Merv's parents pass and their cattle put down, he takes up clowning wearing a baby blue suit with a colorful circular pattern and a red tie. This clown is strangely religious and loves to sing his heart out. While this film's body count rises, if Mervo or his clearly deranged brother is the culprit, well, we'll let you decide. Letting us into seventh okay. is Haunt's Clown Worker. His green overalls are adorned with dark cuffs and pom-poms. His hair is bleached and shaved, and he wears a plastic mask with red hair and a curved unibrow. Underneath the mask, he's modified his own face to resemble a clown. Unfortunately for haunted attraction fans, he takes his work a little too seriously. In door number six is Are You Afraid of the Dark Zebo? He wears a purple, yellow, and green ensemble adorned in polka dots. He has bushy hair with a tiny green hat and loves smoking his cigar. After stealing his circus's payroll, this clown accidentally burns alive. Uh -oh. Although his likeness is resurrected as a smiling carnival attraction with glowing eyes. His spirit inhabits his dummy and haunts those who wrong him. Breaking into fifth is Stitches. This burnt out birthday clown sports a yellow dress shirt, plaid suit, large blue shoes with mismatched socks, a cheap bald cap, and lazy makeup. He also has an egg that copyrights his image. After being mortally injured on the job, ten years later, a zombified Stitches rises to finish the party. But when his clown egg breaks, he vanquishes along with it. In fourth is Spawn's Violator. This stumpy uh, demon dresses uh, in a typical clown costume, but mostly wears bitch. a leather jacket with flaming arms, striped brown pants, and a lock necklace. He has blue faced makeup and wispy gray hair. He can transform into other looks, although his true form is actually a giant creature with glowing red eyes. He's so tasked sick. by the ruler of hell to make sure an apocalypse on Earth goes as planned. Possessing third is Clown. To amuse his son on his birthday, Kent wears an ancient beige clown getup that has a scaly texture, shoulder tassels, and a white neck piece, paired with simple makeup and a rainbow wig. This suit slowly morphs Kent into a demon clown with a hunger to feast on five kids in order to release the demon. Though after trying to eat his own son, his wife severs his hunger. Cooking up second is Captain Spaulding from the Firefly Trilogy. He sports star-spangled clown attire with floppy shoes, a pink left pant leg, and rosy cheek makeup. He also wears a polka dot blue outfit with a larger hat to show off his roadside attraction that comes with complimentary fried chicken. 
This criminal mm. clown has a deranged family with whom he commits various atrocities. And slicing first place is Art the Clown. He has witchy features and mime-like makeup. He wears a hood with a small hat and a half black and white jumpsuit. The early version of the character is shorter, has a reverse color scheme suit, less defined features, and at times he has an eerie glowing-eyed face. This silent slasher carries a garbage bag of goodies, uses firearms, and sometimes works with a young partner. He's also a huge fan of the Christmas season. Scariest of all, despite multiple defeats, this demonic clown is always ready for a sequel. But this is secretly a top 13 because Poltergeist Clown Doll, The Killer Clowns, and Pennywise deserve high spots Sick too. And you can see their animations right here. Check out the many other spooky videos on the channel. As always, thank you to the patrons. Comment your favorite clown down below. Hit like, subscribe, and tap that little bell. I know people will say, well, Joko's not quite out. Um. He technically is, but he's technically isn't. But yeah, I know I'm get I me. Mean, but I uh, I gotta see these movies. I mean, these look pretty fucked up. And that's my say clowns. I like the fucking movies. But hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. <clears throat> I'll see you guys next time.